Hi, this is Alex Christensen with Mozendo Training, and today's training video is about the Agent Builder test settings and exactly what they do and how to use them. The three settings that we're going to talk about are the tile browser settings, the disable loading images, and the ignore website errors. So we're going to jump into a quick demo to see exactly where they're located and how they function. So here is just a dummy agent that I created. And when we click on test agent, this is where those test settings will be located. And so you can see the tile browsers disable loading images and ignore website errors. The tile browsers, when we, when we check the box, it's going to show us a pane by pane demonstration of what the agent builder is currently looking at and the pages that it has open in the background. And so I'm going to check that and I'm going to start this agent over so you can see exactly what it looks like. So it keeps page one open here, you can see page three open, page two open here, and then page three open here. It just is a series of click items. And so this can be useful if you want to have a view of all the different pages that are open, but you can also see that it is a little bit, makes the screen a little bit convoluted. Um, and you can, and we can kind of compare it to if we have it unchecked. So I'll just test this as well. If we have it unchecked, you can see it just displays the entire screen of the current screen you're on and it's a lot easier to see. And so that's the first tile, that's the first setting. The second setting is disabled loading images. Um, this does exactly what the title says. It takes out all the image images on the website. And the reason why this would be useful is because it speeds up the process at which your agent runs. When we disable loading images in the web in the agent builder, that matches the behavior that's seen in the web console. And so if we start over, we'll see that the images that are usually here and here and here are no longer there just because we chose to disable those images. So I'm just going to stop the, the test. And then the final test setting is ignore website errors. Um, this is also a setting that can be mirrored in the web console that we can talk about in a future training video when we talk about error handling in the web console. Um, but the main benefit here is if you keep hitting a website error, you can choose to ignore it and the agent won't stop with that website error and it will just continue going through the agent. Um, that's all we have for this training video and we'll see you next time.